Kent Spitfires reached the semi-final of the Royal London One Day Cup after a nine-wicket win against Nottinghamshire. Hino Kuhn's third century in four matches fired them to victory at Trent Bridge to set up a trip to Worcestershire on Sunday. Harry Podmore, replacing the injured Mitch Clayton, took 4-57 after Kent won the toss to help restrict Knots to 255-8 to from their 50 overs. Hi no Kuhn, picture, Andy Jones. Daniel Bell Drummond and Hino Kuhn got Kent off to a flying start in their run chase putting on a partnership of 194 for the first wicket. Bell Drummond was eventually stumped by Moore's off Carter for an excellent 79 from 73. Kuhn hit his third century in four matches for the Spitfires and put the Knots bowlers under pressure from ball one. His century came in 90 balls and played superbly for his 124 not out. Joe Denley then came in to finish things of with 52 from 28 balls. After Kent won the toss and put the opposition in two bat, Matt Henry and Harry Podmore caused knots all kinds of problems in their open spells. Podmore removed Wessels, Nash and Moores while Henry claimed the wicket of Taylor to leave the home side 25-4 from the first 10 overs. Stephen Mullany, 90, and Samit Patel, 27, tried to rebuild the innings and put on a partnership of 70 before the latter was caught by Kunaf Kayum. Imran Kayum, picture, Andy Jones, skipper Mullany provided some stability in the middle overs for Nottinghamshire playing well for his 90 from 108 balls. With the home side 198-7 with 5 overs left, Luke Fletcher smashed 9 boundaries to hit 53 from 34 balls to help his side to 255-7, Podmore took a career best of 4-57 in just his second list A match for Kent. Spinners Joe Denley, 0-42, and Imran Kayum, 2-45, kept things tight during the middle of the innings.